Okay, so it's 4.13 in the morning, and I've got nothing better to do. I should be asleep, but I'm not. So I'm going to go ahead and do this quick video. Um, ugh. Okay, so first of all, if you've ever watched any of my YouTube videos, you know I'm a serious package snob. If you're going to send me something, especially if I pay a little bit of money for it, I want there to be some sort of tissue paper cute wrapper a car something um you know just like minted they have really good packaging the lip bar really good packaging um what's that one lady she does the videos where she's like this dancing around dance your butt off or dance your heart out or something <laughs> cute packaging um who else? Um, Urban R Urban Skin RX, cute packaging. Pat McGrath, cute packaging. So these guys, not so much. Now, first of all, I see their videos all over the place, and everybody is girly. Hey, girlies. Hey, mamas. Hey. So there's always this, um, this this sort of bonding practice that goes along with you're going to love this and you're going to like this and I fell for it first of all I'm old I'm in my 50s so back in the day we had just simple fragrances smells like Giorgio smells like obsessions smells like this or that um and they were they honestly I mean <laughs> they really smelled similar to the fragrances and they were just like little cheap you know cheapos Look at this packaging. This is exactly how it came. It came in a brown box. There's this little like paper in the bottom of it. Like nothing special. So now these boxes are cute. But. And I wasn't paying any attention. First of all for a knockoff. These things. Like a couple of them were like $55. $55 for a knockoff. I wasn't even like thinking because. I could have went to Ulta and got an actual brand name perfume. So this one is called Almost Nude. And I honestly, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Um, I don't know. If you know, you can let me know. But what I do know is that it smells like a cross between like Play-Doh and me opening a baby doll in 1975-76. Like there used to, there was a very distinctive scent of like plastic. Like when you open a new baby doll and they have like the mesh covering over their head. And it was just like a really weird smell and, and kind of like a Play-Doh smell. I don't know this one right here and it's called almost nude again not sure what it's supposed to be now this is the one that even got me to look at this fragrance line it's called Oksha Paul viral vanilla and it was something like that girl I guess that's what it's supposed to be now, one thing I noticed is, like, the boxes got dented. How do you just have these boxes in here with no protection, no nothing? Look, that's just so, ew. That, that just really rubbed me the wrong way. So, we got that. Now, this one, let me back up. Because this smells like vanilla now one thing i can say is that this perfume does last it lasts like throughout the entire day but like i've smelled other vanilla that was much more pleasant than this one um it just didn't it just didn't do it for me so i don't know 
like, <laughs> I just feel like it's all hype. You know, how they hire people to hype up a product and say, oh, and then you get people. And then what I think they do on a lot of these platforms is any negative comments, they snag those. They delete those immediately. So it looks like everybody is just loving this pro product. But I guarantee you there are some people out here saying the same thing I'm saying. This stinks. Like, yeah, this is not a good scent. So this, it lasted all day on my skin, but I'm not sure that that's a good thing because old school vanilla fields smells better than this vanilla to me. Maybe I'll try it again on a different day and just see, but mm -mm. so far it's a big old no. Now, the surprising one for me was this one here this it smells very unique um, it's called something sand crystal and oh man yeah sand crystal and when I tell you this thing smells so good so so good Alexa what is the Okcha Sand Crystal supposed to be? The Okcha Sand Crystal is a silica glass that contains sand from the Sahara Desert. It is believed to assist with spiritual growth in the ascension process. Yeah. These crystals are very pure and some even have the sand uh, embedded in them. Nope. Okcha Sand Crystals are said to help with uh, spiritual growth in the ascension that's not it. process. Alexa. Okcha Perfume Sand Crystal. What is that? From Scentbird.com. The Sochi Crystal Noir EDT is essential and delicate. Lord have mercy. The floral oriental aroma and the warm sandalwood base. Alexa. Sand Crystal by Okcha. What is that? Crystal by Oak is a type of rock that is made up of oh my lord okay y'all um give me a second okay so this is uh reminiscent of wood sage and sea salt the almost nude is good girl gone bad and the viral vanilla is that girl and out of all of them this sand crystal is the best one um, good girl gone bad smells good. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got a bad batch. And if I wasn't so apathetic about opening packages and I didn't move like Flash from Zootopia, I would have returned every one of these bottles. Well, I would have returned everything except for this sand crystal. So... If you try Okja and you like them, um, let me know what fragrances you use because these two didn't do it for me. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever, depending on where you're watching the video. And have a great day. Oh, this is sunshine, by the way. Y'all know it's almost 5 o'clock in the morning, so not thinking clearly. Have a good one.